Would you please give a warm welcome to Karen Lipovici. Thank you, uh, Gord, and thank you, David, for organizing this in the Hong Kong Business Association. Nao Ma, Ni Hao. It's a pleasure to be here to uh, discuss with you some of the ideas that um, uh, are of importance to Edmontonians as we move through this uh, election period. I, I know that um, when we look at the mission of the Hong Kong Business Association, that what is important to you is to ensure that there's a connection between the hubs of finance and trade, between ourselves here in Edmonton and Alberta, and between Hong Kong, obviously. And I've had the pleasure to be in Hong Kong, as well as to Beijing, and welcome to uh, the visitors that we have from Beijing here today. The reality is, is it's a growing economy, and it's a, um, a very modern economy. But in order for us to do business there, we need the help of you, the Hong Kong Business Association, in order to establish the trust and the relationships that are looked for when we do business in China. We are a city of entrepreneurs. We have been a city of entrepreneurs for years. And we see that right now in the many startup companies that are here in the city of Edmonton and the very many firsts that we have from cold FX to many other uh, new developments by um, new developments that occur in this wonderful city. But the city itself has a role to support what business is doing. We can get in your way or we can help facilitate what you want to achieve as entrepreneurs, as small and, as small and medium sized business owners. That's our role in local government. And the reason that I'm running is to ensure a number of things. The first is that we do get the business right. The business that we're elected to do, whether it's looking at our budget, whether it's making sure that our roads are drivable, whether it's removing snow, we're elected to do that because it makes your lives, everyday lives, a lot easier. And that's what you're looking for. Your tax dollar is hard earned. And I know that as being the child of immigrant parents, I'm first generation, I was born five months after my parents came to this country and my father was not able to do the trade that he was, oh, that he was educated to do. He drove taxi for 37 years in Montreal and I'm proud of the work that he did to ensure that I and my sister could have the education that he wanted us to have. He came to Canada, saw it as a land of opportunity and Edmonton is also a city of opportunity and a city where dreams can be fulfilled. Thank you. That's why many of you are here. I came to Edmonton 33 years ago. I was going to stay here with my husband for two years. 33 years later, I'm running to be mayor of this wonderful city. And my son graduated from the U of A about two years ago. He's a civil engineer and he's staying here because he also recognizes the potential that here is here in the city. So what do we have to do to ensure that we remain the great city that we have, that we don't move backwards, that we don't stall? We need to make sure we get our business right. And so I've proposed a red tape commission so we can get out of your hair that we can make sure that those development permits, those business permits that you look for are done efficiently, effectively, in a fast manner. I've also proposed that we take back control of our budget through a finance committee. This is a three and a half billion dollar corporation and we don't have a finance committee that the mayor and city councillors sit on. Unimaginable. It's time we had that. When you look at our momentum, we need to finish those projects, which are not the nice-to-have projects. The projects like the LRT is not a nice-to-have project. 
our recreation centres are not nice to have projects, and libraries, in my mind, are not nice to have projects. We need to move forward and finish those projects. And at the end of the day, we need to ensure that Edmonton is a home for all, that Edmonton is inclusive and welcomes diversity. In order to do that, you need a mayor that has the experience and the leadership abilities and gets things done. And hopefully on October the 21st, I will be your choice. Thank you so much.